let's see how we can install terraform on windows 10 or windows 11 first go to this url i'll have this in the description below you can copy it from there now scroll down to this windows section and you'll see two version that is first this one and second is this amd64 ones if you are on intel processor click this if you are on amd processor download this now if you don't know which processor you are running to check press windows r and type ms info 32 hit ok and this dialog will appear and here you can see your processor so i'm running on intel if you are running on amd choose this one i'll download this now so once we have downloaded this we need to move this to our c drive so let's copy this and let's move it to our c drive you can move it to anywhere else you want i'll just move it here so paste it here and extract all hit enter and as you can see this is extracted inside this folder now i'll rename this so that it's easier to copy i'll just call it terraform go inside terraform and copy this path because we need to add this to path so that we can use terraform by command line press your windows key and type environment variables and you will see these options click on the edit system environment variables and here click on environment variables and in system variable double click on this path and click new and paste our newly copied path here hit enter click ok click ok again and now we can use terraform from command line so let's check it out let's open our command prompt now let's try typing terraform and as you can see terraform is installed and we can check various commands that terraform has like this now we can use terraform easily so let's say we want to do something using terraform right so you can check this link i'll have this in the description too and down here you can follow the steps so what we can do is let's say we exit from this hold shift and right click and click on open powershell window here or if you see open command prompt here you can click on that too so i'll open powershell window here so now you can follow whatever they are saying so let's say i'll copy this this will create a new folder called learn terraform docker container now we can go inside this hit tab to auto complete so now as you can see we are inside this folder that is learn terraform docker container and since we had opened powershell windows in our desktop if i go here and refresh you'll be able to see that folder now we are inside this folder and we can go ahead and do what they're telling us to do that is we can create a new file called main.tf my folder okay here it is so you can create a new file here just let's say you want to be a new text document and rename it to main.tf i've seen the extension here if you cannot see the extension click on view scroll down to show and select file name extensions mine is already selected that's why i can see .tf now you can open it again in notepad and copy this paste it here and then we can just run this command right from init since our file is also here as you can see our min.tf is in, inside this directory we will just run terraform init terraform will begin its work as you can see terraform is doing its work and it is installing after installation is complete you can just hit terraform apply so now let's do terraform apply so i'm getting this error because docker is not running let's start docker let's wait while the docker engine starts so docker is running now close this and let's do terraform apply again as you can see these things will be created right nginx server will be created and you just need to type yes here hit enter again so now our docker image should be created so if you go down here and check using docker ps 
you'll see that we have a container here and it was created about 12 seconds ago so let's go to this url and let's see if it's working or not so as you can see we have created an nginx server using terraform that used docker if you have any questions let me know in the comments below